Hello, hello. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm hoping I'm not echoing too much, but today we are gonna be going through my really disorganized, crazy, obsessive fragrance collection. And we're gonna declutter some, and then I'm gonna also talk about some of my favorites. So you guys seem to like my videos whenever I'm just straightening up and cleaning out. I've been wanting to get to do this forever. So I'm actually doing it and I was like, I think I'm gonna take you guys along with the journey. However, I do feel at the same time this video is a little bit random, but I don't know, come just hang out with me. This is gonna be like a vloggy type video of us in my closet. By the way, I don't know if you guys remember, but when we cleaned out my closet about a couple videos back, I just want you to know it is trashed. It's not trash, I mean, it's been in much worse condition, but it's not in a great condition, and I've already made a mess. So, not proud of myself, but it is what it is. So with that being said, we are gonna jump into this video. First, I'm gonna show you the fragrances I have, and then we'll kinda go through. But be sure to subscribe before you leave, and give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy. So let's begin, and I will show you how randomly I have my perfumes placed. Okay, first, I've mentioned this before, this is kind of a mess over here, but this is a Toka. I won't be getting rid of because it smells so good, one, but um, me and my mom got it together. We went to the Toka store in New York, and we both got some, so I'll always keep it. It's like a little keepsake for our memories. And then over here, I have just some of my daily fragrances, and then this one is actually a Le Lovato Room Sis Home Fragrance, because it's like a room spray. Um, so I keep in here to spray in here. This is just like a classic. This one's super popular. A lot of people wear this one, Santal 33. You can find this brand, I'll link them down below, but you can find them at Nordstrom's. That's where I get mine. And I also have the candle in it. So I have a few of these around because it came in a three pack. And then over here, I just have the replica. This is one of my daily fragrances, as you can see. And this is Beach Walk. And then I have replica fireplace, which this one's really warm and smoky. Um, kind of smells like marsh toasted marshmallow. Or what is it? The marshmallow one from Bath and Body, but maybe a little better. Um, so this has like been my fall wintery scent, so I need to change it out. But this one's a great everyday one. It's like really fresh. Next up, okay, I just have these over here for aesthetic reasons. I hate to admit that, but I am admitting it. Just kind of like the more clean um, packaging. And then these are like my daily ones. However, I do like the packaging on them. But yeah, these guys, they just, just pretty. So this is the Yves Saint Laurent. I forget, it's like E to Clé. I don't know, I can't pronounce it. One of my faves, I've had this one for years though. It's like, it comes in like a huge bottle. This has also been one of my faves. I don't even know where you can get this, the Gucci Flora. Love that. We have Marc Jacobs, we have Kaali. This is one of the best ones from Fresh. And then we have the Gardenia from KKW. I used to wear this all the time. I used to wear one of it. And then this is a Valentina one, which I'm not obsessed with. And then up here, this has just been one of my favorites for years and years. Um, Processio Brulee is really cheap. You can get it at Urban Outfitters. And then we have the two Way fragrances. These are sold at Sephora. And then we have Flower Bomb, Victor Roth. Really popular, K. Alley and AC by Giorgio Mani. This one is a little bit of a unisex more fragrance. And they're there. And then I have another replica one right there. So that's kind of that vibe. And then we haven't even gotten crazy yet because so, I'm just gonna show you. Oh my God. <laughs> this drawer looks way worse than what I thought it looked like. So here's a crazy thing. On my vlog channel many moons ago, like a while back I did like my perfume collection and cleaning it out. Like I pretty much did this video, kinda. But the thing is I like gave away a ton in that video, like a ton of fragrances. And I actually packed them all up and shipped them to my mom because she loved fragrances just like me. So I literally sent them all to her. It makes me sad, but um, not sad that I gave them to her, just sad thinking about her, but I literally gave all this to her. And so, yeah, I'm gonna be cleaning it out again. I don't know how I acquired so many fragrances. I will say some brands do send to me though. Like I didn't buy all these. Don't want you guys to think I'm too crazy. Although I'm a little crazy. I just bought this one too. It smells so good. I don't know, we have a lot to go through. We have a lot to talk about and we have a lot to clean out. So let's get started. This is also in here because I didn't want it to leak and I want it to sit up straight. I love this body glow from Patrick Ta. So we'll keep, I'm gonna do a keep pile and a giveaway pile. This is a really good one from Glossier. Ooh, I love my black opium, one of my faves. It's very strong, so just a heads up. 
I just bought this one, Clementine. It smells like Clementines, like a fresh. Okay, I have this one. I don't remember what it smells like. Oh my God, I'm gonna spray so many of these. This is strange. I don't know that I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile and then make an executive decision. You guys, I picked this one up at Ulta and this one is one of my favorite fragrances ever. <gasps> I wanna wear it. This one's called Good Energy, but they have a bunch of them and I think the packaging's so cute and you just press this and it sprays. It's actually kinda hard, here we go. Oh my God. It's like honestly sweeter than Juicy Couture, but I love a good sweet fragrance. I shouldn't have done that now. I can't smell the rest of them. Boy, anyway, this is all mess. Just disregard. Ooh, I'm keeping this Miss Paris Hilton. That's another really sweet one, but I bought this at like, ooh, it smells so good. I want to wear it too, but I bought this in one of my, um, like TJ Mall, TJ Mall, TJ Halls, TJ Maxx Halls for memory. <laughs> So Judith Lieber team sent me her fragrance. She's the one who makes the fabulous handbags that Kim Kardashian collects that are like shaped like all kinds of like cheeseburgers and money and all kinds of stuff. So she made a fragrance, but here's the thing. I like it a lot. Like it smells super yummy and Aaron always wears it, but girl, one spray and you're done. You're done strongest fragrance I've ever experienced. Okay, this one's definitely a keeper. This is the Blossoms and Fruity Notes. Oh, springtime in the park. Love their fragrances. Mmm, it smells very floral. I love sweet scents, but I also have a side of me that likes really unisex spicy scents. This is the one we bought for Ty. For memories, your curves in here, hon. I'm giving this back to you. I don't want it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I'm not gonna wear that. He said he won't wear it, guys. It's, so old it's not that old school. This is also Coast de, de Palms. Coast de Palms. Um, this is also one of my favorites. It's a body spray from Urban Decay. This one is so fresh, but it has like the tiniest hint of sweetness, and I'm obsessed. They make a bunch of different flavors. They all smell good. I love it so much. I have it in the body moisturizer and I've like used a bunch of these, like gone through them. So this bad boy's not going anywhere. Then I have this one called Meadow from Bohemian, Bohemian Reeves. This one smells like um, sunflowers. It smells like sunflowers. So this one's going to my maybe pal. This is like the best. Throwback. Maybe give it to someone who actually wants it. I'm gonna let Erin go through all that I'm getting rid of first because she normally picks herself a few. Okay, then we have all three of the hearts from KKW Fragrance. This one's my favorite. I love this one. I'm pretty sure I don't have that much left. I used it so much whenever I first got it. And this one is Batty, the orange. This one smells, this one's not my favorite. Or is it Bay that's not my favorite? Let me see. Oh my God, no, I love Bay. I love Bay. It smells so sweet. I wish I would have wore it more. It, I think it's batty. It was just a little different. I didn't love as much. <laughs> All these fragrances are going right up my nose. This is Coffee Break from Replica. Oh, it smells so good. So this one's not so sweet. The notes are creamy, cozy. I would say it's very warm. Not vanilla, but almost a little vanilla. And this one's a unisex one, if that makes sense. So it's a little spicy, a little coffee, like a little creamy. I can never get rid of Coco Chanel. You know, like how can you get rid of that? Ooh, it's just like a classic. This is one of my favorites Kim ever made. This is the peach one. And it smells like the yummiest peach in the world. I can never get rid of my Gucci girl. Uh, not Gucci. Juicy, hello. This is just Viva La Juicy. I think this is the second one they made. I think this is Erin's favorite scent. I've had this for years and years, but she wears it all the time. It's so sweet. It's like the Juicy Couture Viva La. It's like the cupcake one. And then um, these are all sold at Sephora now. These Erin uh, can uh, candles, these Erin perfumes. This one is Mediterranean Honeysuckle. Like I gotta. It smells like a honeysuckle. It smells good, but it's like, will I wear it? Will I wear it? I smell all that familiar. Do you really? Yeah. This is one of Lancome's, and I don't know the name of it. I'll try to look it up and put it on the screen, but look at the bottle. How am I supposed to store this? I have to lay it down, and I hope that's okay, but it's like, 
it's really unique and I, I dig anything like especially in the perfume space because you can do so much that's like more unique but this one I don't know I love it I love it I don't know there's something really satisfying about holding this bottle because it's so thin like I just want to actually this smells so good I forgot how good this smells this is bomb I literally just had to open a window because or both windows because is getting really strong smelling in here, but if you hear birds chirping, it's because the window is open. Miss Dior. So I think this was a lighter color whenever I got it and it kind of turned orangey because look, this is the same thing. I think it was like this. Can you guys tell this is like a baby pink and this is more orange? I don't know if you can even tell, but I don't know. I could be crazy. Dior is so strong. It's also one of those like really warm, heavy fragrances. So I think I'll keep it. I don't wear it a lot though. Okay guys, this is how far we've gotten in this drawer. I just have, gosh, I've had these for so long. I think I should get rid of them. I just have a few more to go through. I really like this one. This is one of my favorites from Guess. It's called Los Angeles. I think it's called Los Angeles. And then Gucci just sent me these. I like the pink one, I believe, better. Let me smell it. You know, this one's kind of baby powdery. It's like like baby fresh. Um, I do like it though. Let me smell the bottle. Oh, this is the one I like. I really like this one. Guilty. And then Gucci had also sent me these two right here. So I like that bloom. Very floral like. Ooh, we love that. And then this is the bloom. I don't know, it's like an yellow. Gosh, they smell similar. I really like these because you can definitely. <sighs> Hello. Hello. I really like these because you can mix them. This one's like a really warm, warmy, heavy one. Yeah, really, really rich. And then this one is the citrus. I like citrus smells because, you know, I was talking about the Clementine. This one's really fresh. Um, Slightly citrusy, but not that citrusy. We have Givenchy. This is, this one is so strong. I don't know how much I love it. We have the Dulce by Dolce & Gabbana. Is this Dolce? Garden. It's called Garden. Ooh, this is so warm. Love that. Packaging's pretty cute too. The new one from Guess, and I think it smells really good, but I actually like the other Guess one better, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I have the Bronze Goddess. I've had this forever, like so many years. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't love it. Um, also, I think this is like a second one, so. Okay, I have the Deja Vu White Flower by Kaeli. My discount code works for Kaeli. I'll put on the screen is Laura Lee for Huda Beauty. Maybe I'll get rid of Deja Vu. I have to get rid of some, you know? And I have Vibes from KKW. This looks okay. It's not my favorite. I might actually get rid of it. This is one of Aaron's favorites too. It's from Urban Outfitters. And this is the Poison by Dior. I have this tray of minis. I'm probably going to keep all my minis. I'll tell you some of my favorites. One is the Ralph Moore, and this is an old school one. Um, also another old school Clinique Happy. Do you guys remember this? Oh my God, let's bring back some memories. Every girl used to wear this. I think junior high or high school, something like that. I just have another Gucci Bloom so I can travel with it. I really like that. These are so, so old. Um, little travel. Viva La Juicy. I love this Moschino one. It smells so good. This one's called Fresh Couture. This is actually from Scentbird. I'm a huge Scentbird fan. I just have some from Fresh that are mini. So basically I keep all these to travel. I also have the Way. I have the big one right here and the small one. And then this is the Prada Candy, very sweet. And this Tory Burch one, I think I'll let it go because I don't think, yeah. It smells really good, but I don't see myself wearing it. So I think I'm gonna let it go. Which one? The one you have. The big one? Erin yeah. bought two fragrances she's showing us. Get the one and show them. Oh, the Big Daddy? I didn't buy this one exactly. No, I did. Yeah, that one smells really good. She said she just bought herself. You could have just used this. Mm -mm. I want one on my own yeah. so I can just take in it wherever. In your bathroom, throw it in your purse. And then she also said, she, oh, this one smells so good, by the way. Mm -hmm. And then she said she got the, um, smell this. Ariana Grande. 
uh, one. Oh, and this one nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm gonna just vacuum. I took everything out of this drawer. I'm just gonna vacuum it now. <laughs> Of this drawer so now we can put the fragrances we're keeping back in okay now on to the video where I talk about where I keep what I keep but I also have this cute jewelry laid out because I took a picture so these are nudie patootie we have new chunky gold hoops which you know I love this is a decor soy candle and we also have this this comes in a set these two necklaces I think they're so trendy and cute with little charms on the end so they come in a set of two I'll link all this down below but it's just some of our newer stuff. Okay, but besides that, I just have this little toka. So I'm gonna do a keep pile and then a giveaway pile and then we'll put them back in the drawer. Obviously I'm keeping my friends. You're not supposed to put your fragrances in the sun because it will cause the scent to fade. That's why I always have these back here. But just for the sake of the video, they'll be fine because they'll just stay here for a couple minutes. But it looks so pretty. Look at my girls, yes. Voila, oh, I need to get all these down. I'm gonna keep this guy, love her. Obviously keeping my Gucci Flora. I have to smell this again. Let me smell it. See if I'm gonna keep it. Oh yeah, I love the way it smells. So we'll definitely keep her. I forgot about her. She needs to be moved. I'm gonna keep this one. By the way, a lot of these I like. Um, the only one, there's like one or two up here that I don't wear often, but a lot of these I do like. Keep that one. Keep this. This is musk number 12. I also need to re-smell this. Okay, this one is like really, really, really fresh. So I actually like it a lot. I need to re-smell this guy, the number two elixir. And I need to re-smell this. Okay guys, I have all my fragrances here together. I clearly have way too many. So I went ahead and pulled a few. I'm gonna get rid of her. I just have too many of the black opium, so I'm gonna pass these along to somebody. I am gonna get rid of Vibes because I never wear it. I'm gonna get rid of Deja Vu. I am sadly gonna get rid of this one. I just have too many from the past and I just like don't need that many. I am gonna get rid of Meadow. I am, what else am I gonna get rid of? Ty told me to get rid of this, so I'll get rid of it. Do I dare to get rid of this? I'm still debating, I'm like, will I wear it? Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this guest one as well. I'm gonna get rid of both of these because they are old. And I'm also gonna get rid of, where is she at here? She is hiding the polish because I just don't use it. Um, I will keep these. The rest I really like, but I definitely feel like I should be getting rid of way more than just that. My gosh, what is my issue? Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this one too. So I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna get rid of this one by Givenchy. I never wear this one, so I'm just gonna let it go. I don't need two Miss Dior, so I'll let the small one go. I'm gonna let go of this one from Kelly because these two are my favorites back here, so I'm just gonna keep those. And the rest I genuinely enjoy, so I don't wanna get rid of. I love switching out my fragrances. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm gonna keep and put back in the drawer. And then this row here is what I'm getting rid of, which actually is like, it's, it's like, I would say like 15% maybe 20% of what I had. So pretty good today. So now we're gonna organize and put them all back in. Alrighty guys, we're gonna start putting the, oh, by the way, a whole day has passed. It's a new day, but we're gonna start putting our fragrances back in the drawer. <sighs> I only have this in here right now. I don't know why, but I just put it back in here because I know I'm not getting rid of it and I need her to stand up. Why do I even begin? I don't even know. The drawer is like too big for all these fragrances. My smaller drawers, um, they're not deep enough, so it's kind of perfect to stand up fragrances in. Now I'm gonna be keeping these, so I'm gonna head, go ahead and pop them in there like that. I think I'm gonna take this whole bit down and put like home decor or just some pretty in there instead of displaying the fragrances because to be honest, I don't use my fragrances up there because I forget they're there. I always just go to my one that I love over here or I go in the drawer. So I'll probably put this in my beauty room. So this is like one of my daily ones. So I'm just gonna put her back there. We're gonna put Juicy in here. 
Maybe I'll put all my juicies together. The OG, the Vila Juicy. This guy over here. I remember traveling with this and being stuck with it for like a week straight and I had to wear it every day for a week and then I got so sick of it, but I think I'm past that now. Okay, is that all the Juicy Couture in the house? I think it is. We can move on. I'm gonna go ahead and put my K Alleys together. They surprisingly don't fall over when I open this drawer, but I also don't sling the drawer open. I probably need to get a velvet mat off of Amazon to put down. Then I'm gonna put all these Gucci fragrances together. So I put them like here. This is also a room spray, so I just keep it over here. That way I can spritz the closet. Okay, I feel like all the KKW, like fun, cutesy ones, we'll put in a section. Maybe we'll put these back here and just line them up. This is another KKW one, so I'm just gonna set her right there. So this is my black opium. I'm gonna put her here. And then I have this one from YSL. I don't have much of it left, but I'm gonna put it over there. I think that's all from YSL. And then I have my replicas. Where is Beach Walk? Oh, here they are. Look at all my girls. Look at the lineup, ready? I think I have another one of them somewhere too, but oh, these are so good. You can tell I love this one. So I think I'm gonna keep this one out because I wear it every day. And then I'll put these all together in here. Where should we line them? Line them up here. Okay, I have my two Way fragrances. I'm gonna put them side by side. I kinda wanna put this with Juicy Couture just because it's so sweet smelling. I feel like it belongs in that category. So yeah, Beach Walk, I'm just gonna set there for right now. This one is almost empty too, the Gucci Flora. So I'm just gonna put it right by her Gucci sisters in here. These won't stay perfectly straight like this. They'll move around a little, but just for the sakes of the video, I am organizing them. Let's see. So let me show you when I open it jerks a little. See, they really don't move that much. Oh my God, it's a catastrophe. These are so thin, these bottles, so they don't want to stay up. The thicker ones, they like to behave. Let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? I just need to get the velvet, or I need to lay those down. Okay, what else do we have? This is one of my newer fragrances. So I'm gonna put her up front. I wore this one for a while, this guest one. It smells so good, I'll just put her there. Since these are kind of shorties. I'm gonna put them up front so they don't get lost in the madness. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that one back there, so small. This is another good one. I don't have a ton left, but I traveled with it and got stuck with it for a week, so I took a break from it. it smells really good though. The Victor Roth, it's another shorty. I'm just gonna put, actually he's really sweet, kind of like that Gucci Flora, so I'm gonna put it there and that there. Another shorty, my name is on this one. Ooh, fancy. So I'm gonna fill this space and put some of these. I actually don't wear this one that much from Valentino. Daisy in there. I'm gonna put this one because it's really tall right here. This one's pretty tall in size too, so I'm just gonna put it there. This one smells so good and I haven't been wearing it because it was up top. So I definitely wanna to remember to wear it. So I'm gonna actually move her to the front. This is a big bottle, but it's short. So I'm gonna put, plus these are both Dior, so. This guy needs to lay down and relax. I feel like I'm just gonna like, I don't even know. Like, what do I do with you? Where do I lay you? Like, it doesn't look great, but you know. Then we have Miss Coco Chanel. Probably put her up front just so she doesn't break or slide around. This is a really big bottle of fragrance, so I'll put her over here. Over here. This is a tall one, but it's a body spray, so I think I'm just gonna put it over here. A little toka. Always keep that out to think of mom. We have some KK, some more KK. So I'll put her back here so she's with her sisters. This is another big girl. She's tall. So I'll put her up front though because should I put her up front? Erin loves it, so I feel like I'm gonna keep it up front. And then that's it. This is what we're getting rid of, all of these fragrances. So yeah. And then this is our new fragrance drawer. I think it looks so much better. It was so chaotic. I'll probably store some little passport books or something like over here. 
But as far as our fragrances, this is it. This is the final collection. And I think it looks so good, plus the few that I have up here. Woke up, put that one right there. Just some botanicals. Clean this up a little bit. And that's it for this video. I just cleaned up this section. I added a couple new pieces of decor. I'm honestly still playing with it. I just kind of grabbed what I had in my room and moved things around. But thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Be sure and hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up. I love you guys. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.